you need a place to put your pins and needles when you're stitching? Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little flower pin cushion. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pajagi, and embroidery. So if you sew, you're probably going to need a pin cushion at some point. So today I'm going to show you how to make this little flower pin cushion. This is really cute and it's a great way to use up scraps in your project. You'll want to make one for yourself and for all your sewing friends. You can make it like I did with just a base what sits on the table or you could even add an elastic so you can wear it on your wrist. This piece only takes a few little pieces of fabric so let's get started. So to make this pin cushion you're going to need a six inch square for the center flower part of the pin cushion and then seven two inch squares that are going to be the petals seven two inch squares that are going to be the leaves and then a four inch square for the base now all these sizes are approximate so don't worry about exact measuring on this but just get something that's pretty close to that size this is a very flexible project and then you're also going to need a piece of cardboard that is a two inch circle so this can be from a box from something so to start off we're going to take the six inch square and we're going to fold it into quarters so we have a piece that looks like this now we're going to hold it on the fold that has all the folds so this is the open part and then we're just going to trim it so that it makes a rough circle so we're going to trim it like this as a quarter circle and now when we open it up it is like a circle so now we're going to take a piece of thread tie a knot in the end and we're just going to stitch a running stitch all the way around the outside of it so if your thread isn't quite long enough to get all the way around the circle you can just pull it a bit to gather the edges So now I've stitched all the way around the edge and it's approximately a quarter of an inch from the edge of the circle but you can see this doesn't have to be exact and then once that's done I'm going to pull the thread to gather up all the way around and then I'm going to put some stuffing into here and you're going to want to stuff it pretty firmly and so once the stuffing's in you'll pull this to close that center hole as much as you can and then to help keep it close we'll just take some stitches across the whole piece just to secure the thread so here we have this little um, ball piece and we can uh, just kind of squish it in place to make it the shape that we want and then once that's done we'll just knot off our thread to hold it securely so now that the center part's done we're going to move on to the first row of petals now if you I don't have a separate color that you want for petals you can use two different shades of green to just have two layers of leaves instead of petals so taking these squares one at a time we're going to fold these into quarters and then just the same way as we did the other one we're going to cut this on a little curve 
But in this case, I'm not gonna open it up to be a circle. I'm just gonna put a pin in place to hold it until I'm ready to use it. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing with all of my squares. So now that all seven of those are done, we're gonna need a pretty long piece of thread and make sure that the end is knotted very securely. And then I'll start with one of them and I'm just gonna do a little running stitch along the edge. So it's about a bit under a quarter of an inch from the edge of it. And I'm doing a medium sized basting stitch. So it will look like this. And then when I'm at the end, then I will pull that to gather it. And then I'm gonna pick up another one and I'm gonna go just continue along on that one, right, with the same piece of thread. And I'm gonna keep doing this until they are all gathered and they're all joined together. So once these are all done and they're all together, on your thread, you're going to join these to make a ring. But you want to look at your um, center of your flower to see what kind of ring. So this is going to be a bit small, so I'm going to have to loosen some of these to make it a little bit bigger. So you can easily adjust this to however you want it to look. So if I make it a bit bigger, I think I'm gonna make it even a tiny bit bigger so I can see them from the top. Yeah, okay, so I think that's gonna be good. So then I will just take the thread and tack the last one to the first one. After tacking that, I will um, knot the thread, and then trim it off, and then I can just continue to adjust these to get them all so they're even. So now I'm just going to tack this onto the bottom of the flower, and so you don't need to be um, super exact or pretty with this because it's going to be secured more later but this is just to kind of hold it in place and then once you're happy with that then you can knot the thread and trim it off and now we're going to repeat the same process with the green square. So we're gonna make another ring like this and it's probably gonna be a tiny bit bigger. So you'll wanna gather it a little bit less than you gathered the first row. So then, now that I have my next round, I'm just gonna play with it a bit before I tack the ends together and I'll line it up on here and I want the petals to be offset so that they'll be in between. So I probably need to make this one a little bit smaller. So you can just gather those a little bit. This ring is probably gonna be okay. So I will go ahead and tack those ends together. And this time I'm not even gonna cut the thread. I will just um, keep it on there so I can attach it. And then just to help align it, because this is a pin cushion, you can just stick a pin in to help these 
um, leaves align with the row of petals. And then if you need to adjust anything as you go around, that's easy to do. You can see from the top, that's looking nice. So now, using this thread, I'll just tack these down to hold them into place. The thing to watch out for with this tacking is to make sure that you're tacking it right to the pincushion itself and not just to the petals below because that will help it be more secure. So now that's kind of basted in a place and we can see what that looks like. So now I'm going to come and just add some more stitches to make sure that everything is securely being held to the center of the pincushion. So I'm going to stitch right through both the petals and the leaves and it doesn't have to be super neat or pretty, it just needs stitches to hold it into place. So now that this is all touched down, they're on there pretty securely, now we're going to do the base of that. And so for the base we're going to use our two inch circle and we're going to use our other a uh, four inch square of fabric and I'm just going to cut this roughly leaving about three eighths of an inch, a quarter to a half inch around the circle. So this is just roughly cut. And then we're going to do some stitching that's going to seem familiar by now. We're just going to do a basting stitch around the edge of the circle. And then once I've gone all the way around the edge, I'm going to put my piece of cardboard in the middle and then pull the basting threads so that it folds over the edge and covers this whole circle. So I will just um, knot the thread to hold that securely. And now we're just going to attach this onto the base of the flower. So you can, if you want to, you could stitch this onto the base. But in this situation, I'm just going to glue it on. So I'm just going to use some tacky glue. And I noticed that this base that I have is a tiny bit smaller than the ring so some of these raw edges are out so I'm just going to as I'm gluing tuck those inside to hold it all secure. So I'll glue it on there and then come back and add extra glue just around the edges. So when that's done, the glue will dry clear and you'll have your nice little pincushion. So here's your cute little pincushion. As you can see, you can easily adapt the center of the flower to make it bigger or smaller. You can make the petals bigger or smaller. It's easy to make this in a lot of different sizes and it's a great way to use up scraps. To see a written tutorial with photos, you can click the link below. And for more fun little projects like this, check out my website, evadistudio.com.